Hi everybody, my name is Stacey. Uh, this video will come as a surprise to many of you, especially if you know me personally, because you'll be unaware of the situation. Um, and I have been sitting on this for a very long time. Uh, excuse any pauses, um, erms, and just general disorganisation. This isn't very uh, easy for me to do um and i just feel like uh right now in the current climate uh and with you know injustices being brought to light um through social media platforms there's no better help time for me to ask for help um this video is about my grandfather my grandfather is felician kabuga he is an extremely inspirational and successful self-made businessman and millionaire from Rwanda. Um, however, being this successful, especially in a country of unrest, comes at, at a price. Um, on Saturday 16th of May 2020, uh, around 6am during lockdown in Paris, my 87-year-old grandfather, Felician Kabuga, was arrested after over 20 years plus on the run. Now, my grandfather is being accused of the worst crimes, uh, all based on lies and hatred. Um, the French media outlets branded my grandfather a genocider despite no facts no evidence no trial no conviction um international media outlets then ran with um what the the french media media had put out there um therefore they went on to spread this um false narrative supporting exactly what the rpf have been cultivating for years um, my grandfather's fundamental human rights have not been respected, they never have, um, and he has never been treated with the presumption of innocence. Uh, I'd like to start off with a quote by Malcolm X, uh, which um, says, If you are not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. I cannot sum up Rwanda better than this. I cannot sum up my family situation better than this. Um, the best way for people to understand and for me to put it plainly, um, uh, how corrupt Rwanda truly is and how dangerous uh, the president Paul Kagame is, is um, Twitter. Twitter, uh, a very well-known social media platform, However, speak one bad word against Kagame and the Twitter bots will be at you. Um, this isn't a coincidence. Uh, this has been going on for years. He's held as a hero uh, whilst he's currently murdering innocent people in Rwanda, in Congo and beyond. Um, and I will do an entire video dedicated to Kagame and his crimes. However, um, uh, it's it's very important to note that um, he has basically immunity or total support from the West uh, who have a vested interest in keeping Kagame in power for various reasons. Um, now, um, one, I'd like to just... Uh, briefly touch up on what my grandfather is actually being accused of uh, the three main things being uh, the importing of machetes uh, in mass financing and controlling the RTLM uh, which was a, um, a media outlet in Rwanda at the time and uh, financing and arming the Intera Hamge uh, during this video I will touch up on only the importance of machetes because I want to keep this concise and short um, and then uh, as as the situation unravels I will uh, release more videos. Um, now uh, further to like contrary to what has been put out there um, if you have watched the Netflix documentary uh, which was released um, last year um, I haven't 
personally watched it yet therefore i i cannot comment but i am very very willing to engage with anyone who who um has a vested interest in this uh, story um and maybe has seen the netflix documentary uh, so please do feel free to approach me message me dm me um and so forth i am willing to um conversate um, so back to the crimes which my grandfather is being accused of, uh, one, number one being the importing of machetes. Um, so saying that my grandfather, um, was, uh, importing machetes, this is true, he was importing machetes, but he was importing machetes since 1981, um, and as mentioned previously, he was not the only person uh, or business importing machetes. Uh, arguably, also, machetes were actually um, one of the most important tools in agriculture um, in, in Rwanda. Therefore, it wasn't out of, you know, the ordinary to be importing these. It's very important to note uh, that the planning and organisation of the genocide against the Tutsis, as it is known, um, was totally orchestrated by the RPF. I don't think I actually mentioned uh, who the RPF are. Um, the RPF are, are sometimes um, referred to as the FPR in French. Uh, they are the Rwandan Patriotic Front. Um, now their reason for um you know orchestrating this uh entire genocide uh it was done so that they could legit legitimize their power uh with the help of the west now this is where the americans interest becomes apparent um and their interest is mainly to do with congo uh the congo the president of congo at the time was mobutu and mobutu wasn't seen um as reliable or someone they could rely on or who someone who was stable uh, for the West in order for them to continue exploiting um, Congo for their resources and minerals. Um, and they needed someone closer to the ground who would be willing to help them do the exploitation. Um, however, Kagame, who was a war chief at the crime, um, very important to note that he was actually trained in the USA. Um, I will include all of this in, in another video, but he was more than willing and ready to sacrifice everything in exchange for power. Um, uh, now you're wondering, where does my grandfather come into this? Um, Felician Kabuga was arguably the richest man in the country, but he was also a very good friend of the president, Habiari Mana. Um, and he refused to work in allegiance with the RPF and was therefore seen as a threat. Putting the blame on him just seemed evident um, as it would add credibility to support uh, their theory that um, uh, the Hutu started the war against the Tutsis. Um, another question you may be wondering is if my grandfather was innocent, why was he on the run for so many years? Um, so we are dealing with the mo world's most corrupt leaders. My grandfather, um, during the war, fled and seeked asylum um, in various countries and was refused um, and deported. He was subject to a murder attempt uh, in Kenya, which I can personally testify to as I lived with him at the time. Um, and... Now, as I um, mentioned, uh, I am aware of the backlash that myself and my family in this video will receive. However, we will no longer sit back um, and watch as lies and misrepresentation of an honest and innocent man um, are pushed to fit a narrative of a regime still committing genocides as we speak. Um, therefore, please uh, share this video um, open the conversation um i am here uh to discuss anything uh that may have confused you um as i said this is a short video and i will be diving into this much more um as the days and weeks go on um 
currently my grandfather is actually in um uh, being held in the hague his uh health condition is deteriorating day by day um we have limited contact with him uh we have dealt with um a number of lawyers uh, um so i mean any human rights organizations that you know that can help us um anyone that you know that can help make these videos a bit more concise and a bit more professional i would be um very open and grateful for your help um thank you